Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from Skill Builder, and we've teamed up with Bostic to bring you an in-depth guide to the laying of floor leveling compounds. We've covered this subject before, and we've got comments and requests below the video asking us for more information. So here it is. The first thing you need to know is that these are floor leveling compounds and not screeds. A screed is something that is put down on top of concrete to form a level base. And sometimes if that screed isn't completely smooth, a floor leveling compound is laid over the top. But floor leveling compounds can also be used on existing floors. If they're uneven, if they've dropped, you can level them out. Or if you're trying to raise two floors to the same level, if for example, you've knocked one room through to another. You can also use floor leveling compounds on timber floors. And we'll show you how to do that. Before you start, there's a few things you need to take care of. Floor leveling compounds have got great adhesion, but they won't stick to dust. So you need to sweep the room thoroughly, if possible vacuum it. And then make sure there are no contaminants, no oils, no grease, no old adhesives, or anything that might stop that floor leveling compound from sticking down. It's important to make sure that you've got enough floor leveling compound to complete the job, because you need to work to a wet edge. So measure the room, work out the depth, and check the packs for the coverage rates. Floor leveling compounds work on a chemical set, and that chemical set produces a certain amount of heat. Now if you've stored the bags in a very hot environment, that means that set is going to be accelerated, it'll go off too fast. And if you store them in a very cold environment, it'll slow the setting down. So try to work on a day where it's neither too hot nor too cold. Floor leveling compounds can be laid at different thicknesses to suit the job, but it's important to choose the right product and stick to those limitations on the thickness. If you lay it too thin or too thick, that can cause problems. So take the measurements and check the pack. So now that's out of the way, let's look at the products and see where they should be used.
So I hope you found that useful and if you want any more help if you've got more questions then fire them off to us at the bottom in the comments column or get in touch with Bostick. I'm Roger Bisbee thanks very much for watching come back soon press the subscribe button and keep up to date with everything we've got coming up on Skill Builder. Mm -hmm.